Alec, this is a Star ST38 sliding head machine. You've got some turrets on this machine, which is a fundamental difference between some of your other models. Just tell me where this machine fits in the market for you. This is our flagship machine, and we mainly sell in this to uh, OEM customers that have got really challenging, very difficult applications. So this particular configuration, that's where it comes into its own. We've got the three turrets, we've got an independent turret purely for back working, so we've got a lot of overlapped opportunities on this machine to reduce the cycle times. But basically, we can hang up to 70 tools on this machine, so it, it suits very difficult, very challenging applications. Now, I so see you've got two, two turrets on the operating on the front spindle. Can they work uh, at the same time as each other on a component? So could you use both for milling at the same time? We can use them for balance turning, we can use them for balance milling, We've also got another feature called super positioning mode. This allows us to mill one feature on one side of the part and mill a different feature in a different position on the opposite side of the part. So again, it's very good for reducing the cycle time in the component. An engineer needs a compelling reason to buy a machine, and it, I know these machines are carried in stock here, you've got them in stock. There needs to be a bit more than that, so I'm trying to explore why they would actually go for a solution like this. Is it going to give them reduced cycle times over maybe a, a, a twin turret 52 mil bar machine? It's basically more application driven with this type of machine. There's some applications that you simply cannot do on a twin turret fixed head and this is where this particular machine comes into its own. Like I say, we can process parts well over a meter without any problem and we can make quite short parts as well. This part is quite typical, this is a front eject part up to 150 millimeters in diameter. So it's, it's more to do with the application on the ST38. But when the application's right, it is a real performer because I, I also looked at the speed on this. I was quite surprised to see that you got 7,000 RPM on both the front and the main spindle. Is that unusual for a machine of this size? We've got the speed, we've also got the power. We've got four kilowatt on both turrets for, for milling as well. So. In terms of metal removal rates, this is, is it's, it's a very powerful machine. Alec, in the brochure it says that this machine ideally lends itself to markets such as the automotive, the medical and the aviation. But I, I see this as a machine that could fit into most machining outfits where they've got complicated components, may, maybe difficult, challenging parts. Would that be right? Absolutely. For sure, this machine is popular with OEMs doing really challenging parts, difficult materials, long or short, but for sure we've got this into subcontractors as well. We've got a company not too far away making chassis for lawnmowers on this type of machine, so it's been very successful for us for the last five years. And the machines are here in stock, aren't they? Engineers can come here and actually see a demo, such as the part you've got there, and if they wanted one, depending on the application, they can have it pretty quickly. That's, that's true. We're trying to keep you know, five or six machines in the tech centre under power, under demo at any given time so customers can pop in at their convenience and get a, a good broad overview of what Star GB are all about and, and like you say, the machines are available from stock, so all good.